Hello guys, in this slide we will be talking about the changing the state of matter. We have three states in here, one, two, three, and then we have the graph that is applied here for heating curve for the water. So if we take a closer look, in this x coordinate we have the energy input. The energy input is increasing in this direction, meaning one of the examples of increasing energy is going to be putting heat. So if we increase the heat, the energy will increase. Likewise, the temperature will increase as it's shown in the Y coordinate. It's starting from zero and it's going up to 100 degree and even further above. Okay, so we have the I state starting here. As you can see, I state, the temperature, temperature and energy is increasing so we start inputting energy here so it's increasing so it is it is increasing here both energy and temperature and once it reaches this point energy is increasing but the temperature is not increasing it's it's uh, it's uh, it hit the plateau staying at zero degrees Celsius and let's see what is happening here at the melting process and the freezing process is happening because we're going upwards we're going to be talking about melting now if we go back into states so if I had the ice which was in this state in solid state if I will put heat meaning if I will increase the energy Okay, from here to here, plus energy. My particles starts warming up. They will start warming up. The temperature will go up. Temperature, temperature will go up as shown on the graph. And then there is one point where my particles have absorbed enough energy. So there is like enough energy for them to move away. So they are loaded with energy in here. Now they want to move around. They want to move. There is like some kind of tension going on here. And they are ready to move. They are ready to move. They are ready for melting. So any more energy that is applied at this point is going to be used to separate from each other okay which is why we have a plateau which is why we have a plateau right here before before all of this energy you see here was increasing the temperature but now at zero degrees celsius the, ne the next amount of energy that is used it's not increasing the temperature anymore it is used to separate from each other which is called the melting okay now we're in liquid state okay we're here now we go back to our graph so we're here at point two and then we increase the energy again so energy keep increasing again so the temperature is increasing as well so we increase it increase it as you can see it's like zero degrees now we're like 50 degrees here 60 and then 80 and then we reach 100 degrees celsius you see we hit another plateau energy is increasing but the temperature is stable it's not changing it's the same so if we go back here the same thing is happening so we put energy into this one in terms of heat okay so plus energy here my particles are absorbing energy they're full with energy they use that energy to warm up and reach 100 degrees Celsius, okay? So once all of these particles are filled with enough energy, they use the rest of the energy to move, to move around even more, to move around even more, and they do the vaporizing, and that's how we get even less denser states, which is the gaseous state, okay? So gas state we have in here, that's why in here when the evaporation is happening, the next, the energy, you know, the energy that we input in here 
it's not increasing the temperature. We're stable at 100 degrees, but we use that extra energy for evaporation, okay? And we get into gaseous state. Now let's go backwards. Now let's go backwards. This time, let's say we're in gaseous state, right? We have a steam. We have a steam. Now we decrease the temperature. We uh, we uh, we're taking out taking out energy. How can we take out energy by dropping the temperature? For example, you put you put stuff into fridge or freezer. When you put them into freezer, you will absorb the energy. You will take out the energy. So we have in steam now we're dropping down the temperature as you can see we were like at let's say 110 degrees now we're going backwards okay we're going backwards here we are at this point now we use this uh, now there's no more changing we stopped at 100 degrees celsius 100 degrees celsius when we absorb energy it was be before it was full with this now it's going to decrease it's going to decrease the energy level decreased now they start coming closer to each other they start coming closer to each other and they do condensation the next step you see right here the energy here is used to bind together and they formed water a uh, form liquid state okay over here now they are closer with each other which is why which is why they are uh, now at this 100 degrees Celsius. Now, if you drop the energy even more, if you absorb energy even more, now the temperature is starting to drop down as the energy is getting out. Water is going from 100 degrees to 50. And then we have, let's say here, 30. And then here we hit the zero degrees. When you hit the zero degrees, the water, all the energy that was here, is getting absorbed the energy is going out and the particles starting to bind together again they bind together now they get closer and closer now they form the solid state which is why it is called freezing okay so as you uh, if we summarize this we put energy in onto solid it melts we put more it vaporizes and then we hit the plateau the temperature is not increasing when the state change happening at melting and evaporation and backwards the same thing uh, we we uh, we lose energy minus energy here and then we get into liquid state and then we do another energy minus energy here we go into liquid into solid state which is called freezing that's why when the condensation and freezing happening there is no temperature change just the energy uh, withdrawal happening and uh, lastly uh, we're going to be talking about the sublimation you guys are going to have the video about the uh, this changes uh, in the scorn package from solid if we transition directly into gas it's called sublimation and from gas backwards happening going to solid skipping the liquid state it's called the position okay we we can uh, you're gonna see some of the examples in your uh, youtube videos and that's about it for the changing the states of matter